This house is located at 309 East Jefferson Avenue in Kosciuszko, Mississippi. It was the home of C. Clay Kelly and his wife Laurel Mitchell Kelly. Laurel was born in 1852 and her husband Clay was born in 1843. He was a prominent banker and businessman. Clay and Laurel were married in 1870 and during their 20 years of marriage, the Kellys had four children. But in 1890, Clay Kelly's wife Laurel passed away at the young age of 38. Clay was completely devastated and heartbroken over the loss of his wife. And in desperately trying to hold on to Laurel's memory, Clay sent her measurements wedding dress, shoes, pictures to a prominent sculptor in Italy. It is said that he even had a third story put on his house here so that he could look out over the cemetery and see Laurel whenever he wanted to. Of course, after 120 something years, you're not able to do that now, even though she's on a 20 foot high pedestal even from the third story window. Of course you can see Laurel Kelly by taking the Bobo Street entrance into the Kosciuszko City Cemetery. You can't miss Laurel on her high pedestal. She looks as though she's still looking for her husband, Clay, to appear in the third story window of their Jefferson Street home. Now, Laura's monument had to be shipped all the way back from Italy. They say that Mr. Kelly spared no expense. They say that this monument looks so much like her that Clay Kelly at first couldn't even bear to look at it because it caused him so much pain. For over 120 something years, people have been coming here to look at Laura Kelly. Even the school kids say that at midnight she twirls on her pedestal and that way they can get the, their date to stay out till 12 o'clock because she don't twirl until 12. Whatever works. Now this says Laurel B. Kelly, daughter of S. and M. Mitchell, wife of C. C. Kelly, born November 15, 1852 and died November 29, 1990. This is Laura's grave right here. Just simply says, my wife, Laurel B. Kelly. Next to her with the little sheep there That's Othar Lamar. Now he was born the 7th of July, 1876 and died the 27th of August, 1877. He lived one year 
one month and 21 days. We don't know what happened to him. But he died before Laura did. Now this is Samuel L. Kelly. 29 March 1874 he was born and he died the 3rd of August 1888. So he died before Laura did too. Laura was holding a part of her dress with one hand and a walking stick with the other. Now this grave is her husband. This is Clay, C.C. Kelly's grave. And he died in 19 and 18. He was born in 18 and 43. As I say, although the tombstone says 18 and 45, which is wrong. Next to him is another son, right, right there next to him, right there. I passed it real quick, but it was L. Mitchell Kelly. And he was the last one to die in, eight, in 19 and 18. Now this is a daughter, Mrs. Lillian Kelly Edwards. This is Samuel again. Now Clay, C.C. Kelly, married twice after Laura. But as you could see, he's buried at the foot of Laura's feet. Now this is Lillian, and she married E.F. Edwards. Now, they put the kids' names on the monument base. Now, in the front, of course, is Laura's name, but they had four kids, but they didn't have but four sides, so they had to put, they had to put Otha's and Samuel's on the same side. She stood on this platform for over 120 years. I wonder how much longer she'll stand.